Hey everybody, Tracy Cornelius and gang, say hi. 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 Uh, so we are Monday and we are hi. off to, um, hi. we are off to the um, midwife now. So let's hope that the baby hi. has turned. I'm pretty sure she hi. has, um, but we will soon find out. So just waiting now. Girls obviously happy. <laughs> Bless him. Okay, so we are back from the midwife's appointment. It was interesting. Uh, mainly because we were waiting for over half an hour. So that's me trying to keep three children entertained and well behaved for that time. And then also trying to get them to be quiet and still when we're in for the appointment so uh, yeah that did make it harder and it's now just gone half past 11 so that means I've literally rushed in I've made the girls lunch um because we have to have lunch so early so I can get them dressed and changed and um we can get down to the nursery and preschool um on time Anyway, getting on to the midwife's appointment, the baby's heartbeat was right here, which is great news because that means that she has turned like I thought she had. Um, so she is no longer breech, which is fantastic. I also found out that Torbay Hospital now does actually have an underwater monitor, which is perfect. I didn't, uh, they didn't have that when I was pregnant or labouring with Alina, they were still waiting for funding. So that means that with this baby, um, obviously vacancy dependent, um, I should hopefully be able to try for a water birth again. Maybe this is the time. Maybe the very last baby will actually be a water birth, which would be amazing because it does really help. You don't quite understand exactly how much it helps until you get out. <laughs> um, but because I'd had an emergency cesarean with Grace, unless you are constantly monitored, they really don't like you to be in the pool um, because the risk of the scar tearing or something else like that. So today was pretty much all about the birth um, plan and uh, labouring. So I probably ought to now do my birthing plan. <laughs> Um, I already know who's going to be there. It will be Mark um, and hopefully also my sister, um, which would be really good. She was actually um, there for the birth with Grace, hoping to witness her come into the world. But Grace's um, labour just didn't quite turn out the way that we'd hoped. Um, so ended up in an emergency C-section like I mentioned, but that saved her life. So um, at the end of the day, um, I cannot thank the NHS enough for that, really. I'm beautiful. You are beautiful, I'm yes. Beautiful. You are. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. She's so cute. That was Grace. <laughs> um, so, yes, so I obviously need to get on and write the birthing plan, which I will do. I will also um, put some information up about that with regards to the baby countdown. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much kind of it. I've got another appointment in two weeks time. And um, at that stage, I'll already have my hospital bag packed. The midwife did actually ask me if I had it packed now. I don't tend to pack it quite this early. Around about 36 weeks is a is a pretty good time. So... I will stick to that. Um, and now I'm gonna get the girls ready for nursery and preschool. So I'll catch you guys later. Bye.